Hi guys, my name is Tara. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I did a little Halloween look for you guys. A little bit like devilish, almost more mythical devilish. Um, anyhow, uh, this is the look I came up with. My little horns, they keep on sliding. I uh, definitely would glue these on if I were going out or even glue them onto a headband versus what they are on. Anyhow, if you want to see how I got this look, please continue watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. We're almost to 800, so like, come on. Let's like do this. All right. Anyhow, guys, keep on watching if you want to see how I got this look. All right, let's jump into this. Clip this hair back. These are the devil horns that I got. My sister's going to be a devil uh, for Halloween and kind of inspired me. Not that she needs my help in coming up with how to do a look because she's phenomenal at makeup but I was hoping they were small enough to kind of like that was really annoying like kind of paste to my head but I just don't know if I can I mean I might be able to if I could get it to stick like just here they're not super heavy but I just I don't know but like I could also place them right there and look pretty cool so these are kind of what I'm going off of almost like devil but like mythical devil maybe We'll fucking see, right? So we're obviously gonna start with some cream products. I have color corrected and then put on a little bit of my Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer just to kind of give me more of an even canvas to work with because I have a lot of red pigmentation, just skin color, I don't know, it's just jacked. But I purchased this, I think, last year, the year before on Amazon, and it's a nice little palette for of cream products, cream colors, for about $11.99. I'll try to find it and put it down below for you guys. So this is what we're working with here. So I'm gonna mix probably, I don't know, probably these two darker reds or maybe even all three. And I'm gonna first do like my eyebrow area so I can get my brows on just to kinda, they help frame the face and then I know where to build my look around. So I have my little mixing palette and I have a little mixing knife you do not need this you can honestly use a butter knife and a and a um plate you know anything really so this is like a very deep almost like brown red very deep sorry i am very much congested and then this one's a more true to red and then this one's a little bit more orange i don't know if i will add that maybe i don't know Let's mix these two. Mm, I feel like, like that's a good deep red, but I feel like I need a little bit lighter. So maybe I will for around the brow area. So you see the difference there, a little bit lighter. I don't think that these should stain your brushes. Um, either way, I'm not using my everyday foundation brush. I just have this little BoxyCharm brush that I have in my arsenal. So I'm gonna use that to start kind of applying. I do have a little sponge also if needed. So I obviously want the red under my um, eyebrows. So that's why I'm not doing my eyebrows first. I usually don't. I usually put on a layer of something and then I do my eyebrows because I don't want the my skin color to peek through. You surely don't want that when you're doing a, a look like this. I look crazy. Might as well buff this around. This actually goes on. I've never used it like full out like this. I've used it for some SF uh, X makeup. And I think I used it on my Rich Lux video. But it's really actually a nice, like, do they have a foundation? Like, ain't mad at that. Especially for $11. Especially for, like, colored, um, like a color palette. Okay. I look so cool. So I'm going to go in with Dip Brow Pomade and Taupe. Just to start the look, I normally would, like, darken the, or, sorry, lighten this for my everyday brow, but I want my brow a little bit darker. So I'll probably go in with this and then even go over it with like a black shadow, but this just to start the bra, bra, brow and give some structure. And I think that a straight brow is in order. You can glue down your brows. 
I, I'm not gonna. My brows are pretty faint right here that I can just ignore it. I kind of want to do like some longer hairs up front as well. I wonder if that kind of looks up and like straight out enough. Got a chunk on here. And remember, if you don't like something, you can always change it. I mean, A, your look doesn't have to be the same as mine. B, like, it's makeup. I'll probably have to do these in black because I don't feel like they're showing up a whole lot. And that might be, like, a little too long anyways. Okay, so there is one brow already. I'm gonna do the other brow real quick, see if I can't match it up. And again, I'm likely gonna go over this and deepen that. Okay, so this is both brows on. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go right on in with my black shadow right now, just to get the full effect. And then if I have to clean up anything, I'd rather not be full into the look and then have to go back and possibly mess anything up. So might as well get it out of the way. So use any colors that you have. I'll be pulling from, I don't know how many palettes, but everybody, not everybody, most people have browns or blacks or whatever. It doesn't have to be the same palettes, right? So I'm using the Grunge, what is this? Grunge Baby by Swatch Queen palette. I This palette right here is a little gem for sure. Love it. Great black too, by the way. Almost like intimidated to use this black for my brows because it does the damn thing, but... Here we are. ABH uh, Dip Brow has a lot of, it's very emollient, so it's nice to set it with a powder anyways. That way your brow doesn't move around, kind of set the product a bit. almost making them a little bit more hooked up there or arched, I don't know, pointy. So I'm just gonna take this ColourPop brush and take that same red color. In fact, I'm gonna dip it into this white. Uh, hopefully this doesn't make it like pink. And just like, you know, any good brow you wanna clean up underneath. It's okay if it's pink. I will say like when you do see like your little hairs, it's hard not to get a little thrown off, but just work past that. I think that those are pretty good. I do say so myself. I wonder how I can get these like little hair strokes. Very faint, just I may cover them up, I may use them, we'll see. Can you see them? Mm. All right, so enough of that. So with looks like these, it's we move around a lot. It's just how it goes. So I'm gonna try to stick with that same lighter color for the center of my face for right now and just see how that goes. Add this color like you would your foundation. I 
I totally forgot to prime, but it's okay. Sure, like if your ears are gonna be exposed to get those ears, I'm not so worried about it right now. Um, Cause I think my ear won't be, but I'll just add a little. I haven't practiced this at all, so it could totally fucking be botched as well. Just, just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna get my neck and everything else done. Everything else. I'm gonna get my neck done and I'll so be this right is back. where we're at with the look, the nose, everything. Um, the nose, yeah, contouring's not really my forte. And that's okay. It is what it is, right? So I definitely now that we got a little bit more dimension to the face with the contouring, it's not perfect, but let's go in with some powder. I don't know how this is gonna work. That's one thing I should have tested ahead was like, how does this set like, but we're in it together. Oh yeah. doing okay yeah definitely mattifying the cream products which obviously powder would I just wasn't sure what it would do to the color I guess definitely something you want to set you don't want to look like um super wet you want to look kind of matte and not crusty like I think I'm even going to put on highlight but you just you want to look like like I don't like a mechanic I if that makes sense like an almost not like greasy but like a little weathered you know how they be working out there on the cars, hands get all dry and a little bit of a film, like, I don't know. Wonder if we should do more face stuff while we're here. So I also got out my Morphe and Coca-Cola palette because it has some reds and some browns. So I wonder if I go into that and kind of just lightly, I don't really want to, like, I'm nervous I'm going to mess it up. So let's just see. I think that should be fine. Because we're not like working with like our regular pow or powders products. So I'm hoping though setting will help things like blend okay. Definitely a little patchy, but could be the brush. I ordered some black contacts for this look, um, and they didn't show, but I think I'm okay with that. I think it'll work just fine with my eye color. Kind of popping out. So just dusting that on just again dimension 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 I'm gonna go in with some brown also and deepen it up but probably a different brush because that one was a little patchy so I'm gonna use this little tapered brush with excuse my lisp <laughs> with which one are we gonna go with that one or that one this first one right here dipping in very lightly
and just lightly start back here. I honestly could have just skipped the cream contour. So if you do a look like this, like that was unnecessary. It just kind of got a little muddy. Um, so. I think powders are the way to go. Just like set your red base and just powder it up. Okay. Kind of want to just like deepen in your forehead. Just this is like could be overkill, but I don't think so. Really like make it like nice and dark so you look like, you know, because you're going to have horns up here, right? All my little peach fuzzes make it so hard not to get like it patchy they should have there but there's like also no good way to shave it because I don't know it wouldn't I don't think it would be in my best interest because my hair kind of grows down and over like it just I don't know just don't know I want to try to sharpen this up I don't know how that will work but I'm gonna try I will say doing that cream, I think made this a little bit more patchier than necessary, but you live, you learn. I don't know that I've ever done like a full like red or any color really face look. Cool. I do like where this is going, but yeah, I want it to look more, I don't know more cut, more snatched. In my opinion, that's a little bit more masculine, having a very defined like face features, kind of sinking in this like forehead right here. So let's, while that's working, doing its thing, let's work on the eyes. I'm gonna just kind of speed through it because it's mainly just gonna be kind of like a smoky eye, I guess. Taking that same cream contour color because I have some left over, I'm just gonna put this on the lid. I may have just cut out the cream contour because I really don't think it's necessary. So just taking more of a little dense brush and I'm jumping into that same contour color that we used for the eyelid. This is gonna be very grungy. Bring that down onto the lower lash line and do not be shy. Taking another brush and then taking that color right next to it, let's kind of buff that up and out. I feel like it has a little red undertone, like a cherry cola. Oh, 
under the lower lash line. So these are the eyes so far. So I busted out this e.l.f. Cosmetics Shimmer Highlight Powder because I kind of do want to highlight just because just, I don't know, again, a little bit masculine, but a little bit like, you know, though, because she cute. We're going to do some lashes. So just pop this on. really kind of just putting that on there just to add a little something you know what I mean really quite a pretty color Do a little bit on the forehead. Kind of covering up those little hairs that I drew, but that's okay. I can draw them back in. And then we are gonna do, should I do the nose or is the nose too much? Well, I can always go over it. That's really cool. I wonder if I should tap some on this corner. Why using a finger is a good idea. It's not for this area, but it's okay. All right, so I wonder how can I get this? <laughs> Didn't think about that. I'm gonna take this brush and kind of clean off this bake just to see what happened. Oh yeah, I'm okay with that. Really sharpen that up. Perfect. Okay, so I think I am gonna pop on some eyeliner. Why not? Using this Master Precise Maybelline Eyeliner. Trying to do it like straight. Okay, I'm gonna do the other, can you see that? I'm gonna do the other eye real quick. All this has made like my lips a funny color. Like low key, like my lip color, but now it just looks weird. I don't know, whatever. Okay, both lashes are on. Maybe if you have like less fluffy of a lash, that would be okay too, but they're on. I'm not really gonna fuss with it. So I'm gonna move on to lips. We're gonna keep the same like browns, reds, very, you know, very, where's my little horn? Horn-esque look. I'm gonna use a brown liner and then a red lipstick. Little chapstick first. Uh, mainly because I couldn't find my fucking red liner, let's be honest. So this is Auburn from um, Mud Makeup. So I want to kind of draw out that little lip. This side of my lip has a scar and it's just different. So it's so hard to get things like even. This side worked out well. Mm -hmm. 
So I just kind of did mine as an extension of the upper lip. I'm not quite sure what other people do. Probably just blocked you. My bad. So just kind of deepening around the upper lip. Sorry, it's hard enough for me to do lips as is, like without being so close to the mirror. Just use any red lipstick you have, like I'm doing, and we're just gonna center this. it so I'm gonna put on my mascara and put black on my waterline this is the completed look I just need to get my horns on and then my black shirt um, and maybe do something a little different with my hair which unfortunately I don't have the stuff like here to show y'all how to get that done but I can explain it after so I wonder if I can get them to sit here. Okay guys, this is the finished look. What do you think? I really like it. Um, I kind of tossed my hair up just because I think it was kind of cute, kind of like messy pieces coming down. I would definitely glue these horns on if I were going out because they slide. So although I even tighten them, it doesn't matter. Or you could, you could even try to glue them onto like a headband because this ain't it, sis. They're nice little horns for $7, though. They're a little uneven, but you can wear them up higher, kind of like that, down lower. You can totally flip them. I don't know. They're pretty cool. I like them. I like the look I was able to achieve. Definitely, if you wanted to paint your hands or get some red gloves for your skin or, you know, whatever your little outfit will be, you could even use black gloves. Like, who cares, right? You don't want to get red paint, I guess, on everything if you're going out. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. It really helps me out. If you made it this far in the video, fuck yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Bye. Bye.